I thought we'd take a little break from Rancho del Arroyos and we're out here on the Yukon Valley because a lot of people don't want to see any videos of the new map right now until it comes out. So we're going to take a little break and we're going to be hunting for some caribou and some grizzlies. I'm pretty sure that might be a melanistic duck. Not 100%, but I'm pretty sure. And, uh... It's definitely not a melanistic. Let's just say that. Whenever you find a max weight track from a grizzly bear, it's always an awesome sign. However, when you find an animal and he's about 190 out, however, we also have the 9.3 Grillic drilling rifle. And that's what we're going to be using on this grizzly. Now, they're pretty tough, so they're going to run a little ways, but he shouldn't go too far. If we need to, we could always put a follow up into him. Well, it seems like he did eventually go down, so I'm guessing we probably only got a single lung. But he definitely ran a good 200 yards, so I'm hoping for surely we did in fact get a single lung. Somehow we got a liver shot from a straight on angle. I'm so confused about that shot. I didn't even think that was possible. Like, how could you catch liver from that angle 180 yards out? Basically, we drop right below the heart and a little bit far back. And we missed the lung, but yeah, we caught the liver. Nonetheless, hey, I'll still take it because that's going to be a gold, a 63.7 gold. Just because this grizzly is so small, I definitely want to take him down. He's a level four. Boy, we cannot hit the heart for some reason. I mean, it was still an awesome shot, but we are not getting any heart shots here so far. Man, do they run a long ways with the drilling rifle and a single lung hit. It's a good thing the rendering glitch is going to be fixed with the next update because otherwise this thing here would be long gone. And uh, yeah, 390 yards he actually did run. We did get a single lung hit. So I want to see how far we missed the heart. It looks like we're actually quite a bit high. Okay. We got about six grizzlies here. They're going to cut across this opening. When they do, we're going to start taking some down. Every time I see one of these, I think they're melanistic. Now that actually might be a melanistic because it's black and a female. It might be, I don't know. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me right now. You literally have to be kidding me right now. I came over here because I was hoping to find a dime potential caribou. I really wanted to find one because we just found one not too long ago. But I wanted to see if we could find one on my own map. <laughs> also, I kind of wanted to test out to see if we could use the drilling rifle on the caribou. And uh, this is literally the first caribou that we found to be able to test it out on. 430 to 517 on the estimate. I think the last one that we got was what? 4, 440 or 450? I mean, this thing is huge. So again, I kind of want to use the drilling rifle, but I don't really want to risk uh, messing up this dime potential caribou. Okay, so according to the hunter Ian, he just confirmed that we can actually use the 9.3 drilling rifle on the caribou, which is pretty awesome. And I want to get a little bit closer to be able to make this happen and take him down definitely with a drilling rifle. Now, I remember we came over here and we shot at this duck because I thought it might have been a melanistic. Well, I don't think it is a melanistic. But <laughs> At this point, I really don't care too much about what it is. <laughs> um, the fact is, had we not taken that shot, I never would have came over here and checked over here. I was about to leave, and then we looked over there and saw what I thought was a melanistic duck, and that's what that's what this is here. So, um, no, just a common heart shot though. That's kind of cool. Heart shot on a duck, 108 yards out, double lung shot. But we're going to try and sneak over here now and get on this massive dime potential bull caribou. As we're sneaking over here, we have our grizzly bear that we shot at right before, right in front of us. So I feel like we might as well try and pick him up along the way. It's going to be a five. Got a 132 yard left lung shot on him. And that is our giant caribou. He's about 220 right there. And I really want to get to about 180. I mean, I'll take 200, but we should definitely be able to get to about 180. All right, we're looking at about 180 right there. And he's pretty much perfectly broadside. Yeah, we're going to hold it right on that front shoulder, right behind it a little bit. All right, here we go. 
Zero in for 160, and we have the 9.3. It's actually a little bit far forward, but I mean, he's definitely smoked. <laughs> this is the first time I've seen level five caribou on my map in a long time, definitely over a couple years. We took the shot right here and our giant bull is laying right here and he looks absolutely incredible. Look at the size of the tops on that thing. Let's take an amazing picture of this. Holy, he's got some amazing character as well. Oh, hitting the wrong button. All right, we're going to go with that. And let's pick him up. Oh my God. That's my biggest diamond caribou ever. I think that's a max scoring, but it's definitely not max weight. Because 430 is minimum for diamond. And this thing almost scored 460. This is up there with one of my favorite diamonds in Call of the Wild right here. Just because I love the rack on this thing. Well, here's our other grizzly bear that we were looking for. Apparently we uh, ran past him. <laughs> All right, here's our grizzly. Let's pick it up. It's going to be another five. Got a right lung shot at 180 yards out with the M1 and a 59.5 on him. And uh, as we're over here, I'm going to show you where we got our diamond. Well, our giant diamond caribou from. We're over here by Frontier Vista. Now, the way that we got him from is actually from over here by the Green Shore Rise. We came from here, worked our way up this river here. And we took down that giant diamond caribou right here. It was about 6.30 in the morning. It's not a giant, but it's going to be a pretty unique looking bull. And it's going to be an awesome test to be able to see how we can take a 250 plus yard shot with the drilling rifle as well. So we're going to have to hold probably for the top of the lung. And that should connect pretty well. Not 100% sure, but that should have been about where we wanted to be. Oh, we also have some more over here too. Right out there. Okay, so that should have been a good shot. Might have hit the jaw, but if we didn't, it definitely should connect. <laughs> it's going to be a gut shot, but at least it'll take him down. <laughs> Anyway, let's go over. This drilling rifle is not as easy as I thought to use for caribou. I mean, I feel like it works really good on all the big game species, but for some reason the caribou, it's not doing too great. I mean, yeah, it took down that big bull, you know, the big diamond bull that we got. It took him down pretty good, but it didn't exactly drop him either, even with a double long shot. Got another level three right there. Jeez, I cannot hit the heart. I just cannot hit the heart today. <laughs> Give me the M1 and I'll hit it all day long. But for some reason, I can't hit it with this drilling rifle. And there he lays right there. So we must have got a double lung shot because he didn't go. Maybe is there more caribou? Those are definitely not caribou. But that is a leucistic rare bison. And we just shot him. So a stomach left lung shot. There it goes. There it goes. Let's put a follow-up into him. He's going to attack us. Check this out. This is awesome. This is so cool. Oh, down for the count. And I actually think it's going to be an albino because it does in fact have a pink nose. That's, uh, yeah, it's definitely an albino. Look at the hooves. See how it has pink hooves? It's definitely an albino. And the question is, is it a male or a female? I honestly don't even know. Because I never got a chance to spot it, but it's pretty cool. And it's definitely going in our lodge for sure. It's an albino and a 62.4. It's only a female, but it's an albino. That is so cool. So our first shot we took, we did connect and catch the left lung at 133 yards. And the second shot, well, look at that. We finally got our heart shot today, guys. <laughs> we took a heart shot at uh, 19 yards away as it was trotting past and just smoked him, which is pretty cool. Oh, there we got some more caribou. Oh, those are not caribou. That's a bull. Come on, heart shot. Yes, we got one. We still got it, guys. We still got it. 
And here's going to be our bull. Ended up getting a heart shot, a 160. And we took him at 160 yards out, right through the heart. Okay, guys, I wanted to stop back at the trophy lodge here to show you a couple things now. This bull here is the diamond that we got last week. He scored 451.2. But the one that we got today is also another big rack diamond caribou. Now, I do have another diamond caribou that was a small rack, which I have to put it up probably somewhere over here. But for now, I'm going to put him here. 456. Actually, I think we're going to keep him just like that. He looks amazing just the way that he is there. So, yeah, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a pretty cool hunt. We ended up taking down a huge diamond caribou and a rare albino plains bison all in one hunt. Pretty much back to back. We took down some decent grizzlies as well. But this guy here was definitely the star of today's hunt. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.